friends, my name is Tessa. Welcome back, we're gonna have some Tessa time. Friends, I know we're at home and we're looking for things that we can do to stay active and have fun. Hopefully you've been joining me every day for our Dancer Size Kids class. Today we talked about the water and we talked about the rain and we even had a little storm with lightning and thunder, boom, in uh, Farmer Joe's garden. But I thought what might be fun today is to decorate a fancy umbrella, just like I had a fancy umbrella in class earlier today. So I was looking for things around the house that you would probably be able to find. So friends, here's what you need to go gather. You just need to have a couple of pieces of paper. I found just some plain white paper, and then I also found some color paper, but it's up to you. It can be anything. But if you have a full sheet of paper, that would be great, or maybe some scraps of paper as well. The other thing that you're going to need is a pair of your kid's safety scissors, and if you don't have that, your mom or dad might need to help you cut out a few things. The other thing you're going to need is either some tape, or some glue, I found a glue stick. Either one is gonna work for today. You'll need to have some markers or some crayons, something that you can decorate with. And then the other items you're gonna need are gonna be, I found a bowl. You'll want something that's round. This one's plastic, so if I accidentally drop it, it's not gonna break. So I, you'll need something that's a circle, like a big round bowl. Then something that's a smaller circle. I just found a little cup. Again, it's plastic if I drop it. Sometimes I drop things. Do you ever drop anything? No, just me? Okay. So the other thing I found was a wooden spoon. So you might already have one of these out from doing our musical instruments. And then just a regular spoon. And then the other thing you'll need is either some ribbon or some string or some yarn or twine. So you might have something like that in your house. I actually found this was from wrapping paper that I found. So friends, if you could go look for those things, you need paper, scissors, tape or glue, some round things, a big round circle like a bowl, a smaller circle like a cup, and a, a wooden spoon and regular spoon and some kind of ribbon or twine. So my friends, if you wanna look for those things in your house, I'll wait right here for you. You can put it on pause and when you come back, we're gonna start our project. Okay, I think we're ready to go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is, I am gonna take one of my sheets of paper and I am going to put my big round bowl just going over part of it, not covering the whole sheet of paper. So it would look just like you're just covering part of it like that. Then I'm going to take one of my crayons or markers and I'm just going to draw kind of this half circle on there. Then I'm going to take my safety scissors and I'm gonna cut out this half circle or semi-circle. I like to use scissors. I don't always follow the lines. I do try my best, uh, but I am having fun, and I think that's the most important thing. So it's okay if yours looks different. It'll be fancy and fantastic however you make it. It'll be special because you made it. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the smaller cup on our little half sheet, and this can be any color. It doesn't have to be white paper. It's whatever you feel fancy about. Then we're gonna do the same thing where we just have part of the cup and we're gonna make little half circles. And so this is gonna actually make our umbrella. And it's, it's you're gonna see in just a minute, it's gonna start to look just like an umbrella. Just like the one I had earlier today. So I'm just doing some half circles on there. So here's, here's what that looks like, if you can see my little half circles on there. 
They may not match up exactly, but it's okay. You make it fancy the way that you like it. Okay, so now we're gonna take our scissors and we're gonna cut out these little half circles on here. And then what we're gonna have is the top of our umbrella. And you can save these little circles too because we could use these for some raindrops if you'd like. So I'm just gonna set those aside. So the next thing that um, we could do is uh, we can get out our spoon. And if you wanna use those little scrap pieces of paper, you can if you wanna color them in. Or if you wanna use some color paper, you can do that too. Now your raindrops can be whatever color you like, whatever makes you happy. But if you have a scrap piece of paper or any of these little half shapes, you can put your spoon on there so it's upside down. And I am just tracing around my spoon. And so it looks like this. It's only, you can see just, it's just the spoon, the top of the spoon, not the handle. And I'm gonna do a couple of these because I am gonna count how many of these that I am gonna need for my fancy umbrella. Maybe you guys can help me count this out. So let's see, I made one, two, three, but we're gonna count and you can count on, on your umbrella top of how many points that you have because that's how many raindrops we're gonna need. So I have, I have, uh, one, two, three, and four. So I'm gonna need to cut out one more of these raindrops by tracing my spoon and making a fancy raindrop. All right, my friends. And it's okay, they can be whatever shape you would like. There's not a right or wrong shape for your raindrop. It could be an oval, it could be a circle, it could be a square. I don't, I'm not sure I've ever seen a square raindrop before, but hey, this is your art project and you can make it however fancy you would like it. Now friends, I might be cutting a little bit faster than you are, so you can pause our video at any time if you want to spend a little extra time either cutting or drawing, you sure can do that. But I'm really enjoying my time with you guys. It's fun. I look forward to hearing from you and getting your notes from your parents. Okay. So now I have my four raindrops and I'm gonna take out my ribbon. So you might have ribbon or twine or string or yarn, anything like that will do. And what I'm gonna do, you can decide how long you want it to be. How Do you want your raindrops to go down really far? Do you want them to be close to your umbrella? And they could even be all different sizes. It's up to you. but. I counted that I needed four raindrops, so that means I need four pieces of ribbon. So that's what I am cutting. And I'm just making mine a little bit different sizes just because it sounds like fun to me to do that. But you can do it however you would like, whatever makes your heart happy. Okay, so now is the time. I'm choosing to use some scotch tape just because I love tape. I love duct tape, electrical tape, scotch tape. It's just super fun, masking tape. But you can use glue. Glue is really fun too. I am just gonna tape these to the points on my umbrella top so that I have, how many? <laughs> One, two, three, and four. And that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, so then you're going to have, this will be the top of your umbrella and you can see the little raindrops coming down. Mine are a little curly. Yours might be straight. 
however yours is, it's going to be awesome. Okay, so then what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to tape the raindrops to the bottom of my ribbon or string, whatever you have. Whatever you have will be great. So I'm just doing that. And after we have these things taped together, you are going to be able to decorate your umbrella however you would like. And I'm actually excited to see if you want to send me some pictures of what your umbrellas look like. I think that would be fantastic. Again, you can use glue if you'd like. Sometimes it just takes a little bit longer for the glue to dry. So you might have to wait a little bit for that, but glue works just as well as your tape. Okay, so now I have the top of my umbrella and I have my raindrops coming down. And the next thing that I'm gonna wanna add to my umbrella is actually the handle, because you wanna have a way to, uh, to hold it, okay? And actually, this is the sign for umbrella in sign language. Umbrella, umbrella, just like that. Okay, that is where the wooden spoon comes into place. So there's two different things that you can do with this, okay? If you would like, you can just tape your wooden spoon right onto the back of this when we're done so that you have a way to carry around your umbrella. You can do that if you just, I just taped it right to the back, okay? But if you wanna make this as an art project that maybe you're gonna hang up in your bedroom or on your front door or on your refrigerator, then you're gonna wanna use paper for this part. So what I did was I took my wooden spoon and my little scrap piece of paper and I just trace my wooden spoon like that and then it's the cutting paper part I like I just cut this out and then this is gonna be the handle on my umbrella Unless I want to dance with it, then I would tape that wooden spoon on there. All right, so I am going to tape this right in the middle, right on the back, so that you can see that you have the handle, the top of the umbrella, you have your raindrops coming down. But if this is an art project that you're going to hang up, the other thing you can do is you can take a little piece of your ribbon and then you just make a loop by putting the two ends together, just like that. And then I'm taking a piece of tape and just taping those two ends to right to the top of the back of my umbrella. So now I have a way to hang it. You can hang it up in your room, just like that. Okay, my friends. Now, here's the part where you need to use your imaginations. I would like you to think about how you would like to decorate your umbrella. You can do whatever you'd like. Some friends might have markers at home. You might have crayons at home. You might have glitter glue. It's up to you. However, you could put stickers on it. You could leave it just how it is if you like it this way. Here's just an idea. Um, this is what I did with mine. I ended up um, making my umbrella. I put some stripes on there and I put some polka dots. And of course I did some hearts and stars. And then I decided that I wanted my rain um, drops to be all different colors. So mine are blue and orange and purple. Yours can be whatever color whatever makes your umbrella look fancy and fun for you. All right, my friends. Well, I hope this is giving you some good ideas and that you can come up with something fun. I did have one friend tell me something else that we could make this into. It could be a jellyfish. 
I thought that was like really creative. That was a great idea. So anyways, it can be your umbrella or it can be your jellyfish. I hope that you have a super fun time making those and I love to see photos. So let us, let us know how you do. And until next time, heart and star. Bye friends.